This is Social Confidential, where Adweek social media editors take a look behind the logo to find out who's tweeting and sharing for major brands. I'm Julian Gamboa, and I'm here with Neve Toledano, a social media analyst at Chipotle Mexican Grill, who is fusing pop, influencer, and internet culture with burritos and guac. Let's talk about your approach and philosophy around Twitter strategy. Chipotle's Twitter strategy is really inspired by our fans. We're obsessed with what they're listening to, what they're watching, what they're eating, what they're talking about, and what they're tweeting. So really social listening is such a big component of our strategy and also engagement. Let's talk about some of the tweets that, that your team has put up. Can you tell us about that time Chipotle tweeted out the word simp and why? We were seeing our fans using simp all the time. So we were like, we should use it in a tweet. In order for us to do it, you know, we can't just tweet simp, simp. So we took a social insight that, you know, if your significant other doesn't know your Chipotle order, are they really your significant other? Probably not. So we tweeted out only simp for people who know your Chipotle order, period. And people were going crazy in the comments. They were tagging their boyfriend and girlfriend and putting them up to the test. So that one was really fun. Chipotle social team has definitely shown that the brand is aware of like some of the customer habits. Could you tell us more about that lemonade tweet and what it implies? Our guests don't always use our water cups for water. So we're just like, let's tweet it. And people in the replies were like, OMG, Chipotle knows what's up. Chipotle is watching. So it was definitely a fun tweet. Definitely guilty of a, I mean, not guilty of taking <laughs> some lemonade out of a water cup. Let's talk about your TikTok presence real quick. What made your team choose a, a TikTok strategy that focuses on user-generated content versus an in-house produced content? Well, we definitely do a mix of both, but it all goes back to social listening and engagement. When we find a really good piece of content, people are taking the time of day to show their brand love. And even if it's just a comment, people freak out and they really appreciate it. And the content's so awesome. So we were thrilled to put it up on our page and to see how it performs. How has the response to the Society of Boomers could say Chipotle been? Society of Boomers could say Chipotle correctly. It's been insane. Um, both of those videos are top performing TikTok videos ever. A lot of the comments are, I can't believe Chipotle posted this. But again, we don't take ourselves too seriously and we're really aware. We know that a lot of people can also not pronounce Chipotle. 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 So that's a really big part of our social insight. What's a quick piece of advice you would give other social media managers? For anyone just starting in social media, I would say, just start, connect with people, grow your network, and don't be afraid to take risks. Because at the end of the day, the worst thing that you're gonna hear is no. For Chipotle, it's really exciting because I get to create content for a brand that I love and a brand that's purpose-driven. So while we're attaching ourselves to internet meme and culture, we're also falling under this umbrella of cultivating a better world. Well, thank you so much for joining us today, Neve. Thank you so much for having me. And thank you for watching. I'm Julian Gamboa, and this has been Adweek Social Confidential. I want to eat Chipotle. You told me you will buy Chipotle today. <laughs> I would, but I don't know what the hell Chipotle is. Chipotle? You mean Chipotle?